Hi, I'm Mike from Swissco.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install a commercial door pivot. The part I'll be working with today is the Swissco 79128 commercial door pivot set. The tools you'll need for this exercise are a 332nd inch Allen wrench, 764th inch Allen wrench, pry bar, Phillips head screwdriver number two, Phillips head screwdriver number three, flathead screwdriver, 5 8 inch wrench, and a 1 half inch wrench. To get started, first disconnect the closer arm at the elbow. Then pry the elbow apart with the screwdriver, and with the closer disconnected, open the door. Next, look up at the top inside of the header just below the top pivot. You should see screws holding the top pivot to the top of the frame. Once you remove those screws, the pivot should come out of the frame and allow the top of the door to fall out. You should see the screws holding in the bottom part of the pivot to the lower frame and threshold. In some cases, this lower part does not have to be replaced. However, if you do need to replace it, we recommend removing the threshold to make it a bit easier. The lower pivot has a leg that goes up into the lower side of the frame. After the screws are removed, slip the pivot out of the cutout in the frame, and then install the new pivot and reattach the threshold. Next, remove the door portion of the pivots. This will require an open end wrench to remove the hex bolts that are holding the pivots into the door. With the wrench, remove the hex bolts and remove the door pivots. Then replace them with the new parts, reversing the operation. Then, reinstall the top frame portion of the pivot back onto the header. With the new pivots on your door, you can reinstall the door back into the frame. Set the door on the bottom pivot in the threshold, and then line the top pivot of the door with the top pivot of the frame. The top pivot on the door is spring-loaded, so all you need to do is depress the pivot point and pop it into the hole in the frame portion of the pivot. Next, adjust the door. Make sure the set screw is loose and then adjust the lower pivot with an open end wrench to the proper height. In some cases, you may need to remove the door to access the lower pin and adjust it. 